tonight's regularly scheduled city council meeting. Uh, sorry, it has to be under such unfortunate circumstances, but we're going we're gonna to get through this. Uh, I want to ask you all to please rise for tonight's invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight's inv invocation will be given by Councilman Robert Brown. Who would bow your heads, please? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to gather here today. Thank you for all those that keep us safe. And we as Christians celebrate. We know where two or more of us are gathered, you are here as well. Thank you most importantly for your son, Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead yesterday that we celebrated. Thank you for the men and women who work in the medical field and help our community to get through this crisis we're in today. Most importantly, God bless the men and women that protect the freedoms that we enjoy every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, Councilman Brown. Thank you, Council. First uh, order of business would be to amend tonight's agenda. I would ask that you add item as discussed in the agenda meeting just prior to this council meeting. I would ask that you add the resolution to change the pay grades in the electric <coughs> department of the apprentice and the lineman. Uh, you should have been given the resolution prior to the meeting. And so if I can get you just to, to uh, take a look at that, if you have any questions, uh, that would be current grade of 20 for the apprentice proposed grade 22 and for alignment current grade of 23 proposed grade 25 uh, and then also to add executive session to the conclusion of tonight's meeting where I will just give a very brief update on the clock corner property uh, should take about 15 minutes and I do not anticipate any action whatsoever to come out of that meeting just more of a more of a briefing on a, on a real estate purchase so if I can hear a motion to amend the agenda as stated. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to amend the agenda as I have stated. Any discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of amending the agenda, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, the agenda is amended. Thank you, Council. First item on tonight's agenda will be to approve the minutes of the regular city council meeting in the work session that was held on March 23rd and uh, of the special emergency COVID-19 meeting and the minutes um, uh, of the meetings held on April the 6th and April the 7th. Do you have any questions, changes, additions, or deletions to those minutes, Council? Okay. Hearing none, I will entertain a motion for approval of the minutes as submitted. So moved. Second. Here we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as submitted. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, those minutes are approved as submitted. Thank you, Council. Mm -hmm. Item number two is a resolution the City Council hereby suspends public participation for agenda and non-agenda items until further notice due to the shelter-in-place order by the Alabama Department of Public Health and the Governor and will expire once the order has been lifted. Can I entertain a motion? So moved. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Okay, just really quick, it's stated in the agenda meeting uh, just prior to the council meeting. Uh, that's so that, uh, you know, we, we can't allow more than 10 people in a room where there's five of us, there's two IT guys, there's a clerk, there's a policeman, and a city attorney. And the way I count it, we have 10 people in here right now and would be violating state orders if we, if we tried to, to do that. Um, and we're going to try to keep these agenda items as light as possible. Uh, we are also available by phone and email if you want to contact us with any concerns. But, uh, you know, we'll be addressing also uh, public hearings on agenda item seven. So all of this is to comply with the uh, orders uh, of the state. So uh, any other comments? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Uh, thank you, Council. Mayor Wilson, your report, please. I believe that uh, Mr. Montgomery is going to show a PowerPoint presentation. And this then is Mayor Karen Wilson reporting oh. to you from home. On day 10 of the state's stay-at-home order, Council and I thank you for adhering to these precautions and we're praying for healing and recovery 
during this time of uncertainty. Many of you maybe saw the AL.com sketch that J.D. Crow did yesterday for Easter entitled Empty Tomb, Empty Church, Full Heart. He said, less is more. This Easter is less about pomp and more about circumstance. It's less about getting all gussied up and going to a large gathering at church and more about staying home and gathering safely with family. It's a time to prioritize, reorganize, and sanitize. God is good, and so is social distancing. Happy Easter. Thank you, Fairhope Local J.D. Crow, for this thoughtful message. The city of Fairhope is keenly aware of the hit that businesses will be taking as a result of COVID-19. We are working to convene all available resources as well as a comprehensive and inclusive list of businesses in the city that we can utilize after the crisis concludes as we help our local <coughs> business community bounce back. A large part of Fairhope's unique character comes from our local independent businesses and the personalities behind these businesses. While entrepreneurs may have storefronts, they also include those who work from home. Artists, authors, landscapers, consultants, and many other different trades. We want to do our part to help you rebound at the conclusion of this nationwide pandemic. This will include a citywide investment in business promotion, which will include PR, advertising, collateral, a wide-ranging media strategy, along with collaborative efforts to begin this process. I strongly encourage all businesses to join by just filling out the information on our new website. The address is fhlocal.org. Please tune in to Local AM Radio WABF on Tuesday and Fridays at 9 a.m. <coughs> it is a recorded interview and it's available on their website after the interview under the tab Recent Interviews. I ask residents to please fill out the 2020 census. It takes less than five minutes. During this pandemic, a high response rate must remain a vital goal as it affects our congressional representation, federal funding, and our local economy. The census is quick, safe, and secure. You can take it online at my2020census.gov. My report will be concluded after this video. Stay home, save lives, set an example. <coughs> F we are all in this together. And we will get through this together. But everyone must do their part. Please follow the guidelines. If we follow the necessary precautions, we will get through this crisis. We are strong. Resilient. We have weathered storms before. And faced adversity. And we picked ourselves up. To find our way forward. To carry on. We are proud people. Determined and steadfast. Proud of where we live. Proud of who we are. We stand tall. And together we will persevere. People of Baldwin County, we are all in this together. But it will require a commitment from all of us. Do your part. And help stop the spread. And we will get through this. Together. 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 I believe that that concludes the mayor's report. Mayor Wilson, thank you very much for submitting that. Council comments. Councilman Robinson. Uh, no comment. Councilman Conyers. No comment. Councilman Brown. No comment. Councilman Boone. Actually, I have one. I'd like to, uh, I guess, ask the citizens of Fairfield. Uh, even though the restaurants are closed, the uh, takeouts are still available. We did that last night for Easter. Uh, one of the restaurant, local restaurants in town. And, it turned out very, very nice, and I would 
certainly encourage all citizens to try and help out the restaurants in this town to start utilizing their takeout services. Okay. Thank you, Councilman Boone. I have no comments tonight, and uh, in order to keep it brief, we'll keep the moving, uh, uh, meeting moving. Item number five is an ordinance uh, to repeal ordinance number 1565 and to establish the vote counting devices for use in all municipal elections. If you look at tab five, and this is some, uh, something that we have to do uh, anytime the voting machines are changed, uh, we have to adopt this via ordinance. Uh, it was prior, if you look down in the third paragraph, the Automark Voter 8700 system, 87,000 system that the county uses. Uh, and the new language has the express vote system that the county will use or any subsequent model. Uh, and it complies with section 17-2-4 of the Code of Alabama. Uh, so I will ask someone to introduce this ordinance, please. I'll introduce the ordinance. Okay. Um, Lisa, is there any reason to push and adopt this tonight or can we wait? Post you can we can wait. just let this lay over. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions uh, for this? Okay, we just want to get this ordinance introduced and we will uh, vote for final adoption uh, at our next uh, regularly scheduled meeting. Item number six is an ordinance to adopt regulations for small cell technology facilities in the city of Fairhope and amends chapter 21 of the Fairhope Code of Ordinances. And uh, as stated in the agenda meeting, uh, you should have the very latest that was given out to you. There's eight or 10 pages that our consultant has put together in conjunction with uh, city staff, including the building department and the planning department. Uh, so I would ask you to also uh, consider voting on this tonight because uh, there are going to be uh, changes that take effect at the state level, which are going to uh, you know, affect us uh, in May. And uh, this, for some reason, God forbid, we have to postpone our next meeting. We would not be able to adopt that. So I think time is of the essence. So if I can ask someone to please introduce this ordinance. I'll introduce it. Okay, it's been introduced. Move for immediate consideration. Okay, I have a motion for immediate consideration. Second. I have a se and I have a second. Okay, do we have any discussion? Okay, thank you, council members. Clerk, if you'll call the question for immediate consideration. Council President. Aye. Place two. Aye. Place three. Aye. Place four. Aye. Place five. Aye. Okay, and now I'll entertain a motion for final adoption. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second for final adoption. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, <coughs> clerk, if you'll call the question. Council President. Aye. Place two. Aye. Place three. Aye. Place four. Aye. Place five. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you very much, Council. Item number seven is a resolution uh, that due to the limitations on public gatherings and social distancing protocol pursuant to the advisement of the Alabama Department of Public Health and orders of the governor, all public hearings of the City Council, Planning Commission, and Board of Adjustments and Appeals are postponed until further notice. Prior to resuming public hearings, an announcement will be, will be made by the City Council at a future meeting. So once again, this is not to uh, eliminate forever planning, uh, uh, any of the public hearings of the Council, the Planning Commission, or the Board of Adjustments, but to postpone these until we can hear from the citizens. I know a lot of people were worried about things that were being on the agenda that would require a lot of public input. And I have uh, you know, made a promise to the people of Fairhope at the City Council. I know that all of you will be unanimous in joining me in that promise that we will not, we will not do that. So to further that promise, uh, I ask for a motion to approve this resolution. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. <coughs> okay, the ayes have it. Thank you very much, Council. Item number eight is a resolution that Council President Jack Burrell is authorized to negotiate and execute a professional engineering services contract with Goodwill Mills and Kaywood to pro perform an environmental site assessment, including groundwater testing on the property located at the northeast corner of Fairhope Avenue and Section Street, also known as the Clock Corner. Said contract shall be negotiated with a not to exceed amount of $10,000. And, and as I said in the uh, prior meeting, uh, this is just doing our due diligence uh, before we close on the property. We had stated that we needed to have an environmental site assessment and uh, it was mentioned to us that we need to also make certain that we test the groundwater. Uh, I'm convinced that was a good idea. So uh, before we can move on with the final closing, we should uh, go ahead and be prudent to do uh, groundwater testing on this site and any other environmental assessments that they may deem within this uh, budget that would be necessary. So I'll entertain a motion for this resolution. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Any questions for me? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. 
Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 9 is a resolution that Mayor Karen Wilson is hereby authorized to execute Amendment Number 1 to the Contract for Professional Engineering Services for RFQ Number PS037-17 for CE&I services for the sidewalks between US 98 County Road 13. This is an AL.TAP grant number TAPAA-TA17 uh, 937 for the Public Works Department with Volker Incorporated at a cost of the amendment not to exceed $9,000. The request is due to project entering to liquidated damages. So as Mr. Johnson told us in the agenda meeting, this is uh, going to be a, a net neutral cost to us. Uh, they were being penalized for running late. We can't charge them more than what our damages were, so this is what uh, they are being uh, charged. Uh, we had to pay Volker for the oversight, and uh, so Volker seeks this money from us. We recover the damages from uh, the contractor. So uh, I'll entertain a motion for this resolution, please. So moved. Second. have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I know that it was discussed at length in the agenda meeting. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 10 is a resolution that Mayor Karen Wilson is hereby authorized to execute number uh, execute extension number one of the contract with Shelby Concrete, doing business as Baldwin Concrete for the annual bid of ready mix concrete for the city, bid number 13-19 for an additional one year. Per the terms and conditions of the original contract, the annual bid for the unit prices are listed on the attached schedule. I have a question. I thought we, did we not do this recently? We can do it again, but I thought we had just done this. Okay. Well, this is for next if we have, we'll do it again. All right. I'll entertain a motion for the extension. So moved. Second. I have two motions and two seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 11 is a resolution that Mayor Karen Wilson is hereby authorized to execute extension number one of the contract with American Wholesale Grocery doing business as American Foods in Mobile, Alabama for the annual bid for the food at the Quail Creek Clubhouse, bid number 11-19 for an additional one year per the terms and conditions of the original contract. The total not to exceed amount of $45,000. So entertain a motion for the purchase of the groceries. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 12 is a resolution that uh, Mayor Karen Wilson is hereby authorized to execute a contract for extension number two of bid number 20 18, disaster debris removal and disposal 2018 with Crowder Gulf for an additional one year as per the terms and conditions of the original contract and based on the per unit cost as specified in the bid tabulation. I want to point out that well, we handed you a corrected uh, resolution uh, that uh, the actual terms would be. Uh, approve the contract with an ending date of November the 30th, 2021, which, which would uh, coincide with hurricane season. And I concurred with that, and Mr. Johnson concurred with that. I think that makes sense that we're not trying to award this in the middle of hurricane season. So uh, if I can entertain a motion to pass this extension. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, the motion carries. Item 13 is a resolution the city of Fairhope approves the procurement of the FY 2020 inventory for supply of two inch gas piping, or gas tubing, I'm sorry, of 21,000 feet for the gas department with a cost of $15,300 pursuant to the Code of Alabama. Entertain a motion for this purchase. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of the purchase, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 14 is a resolution the City of Fairhope vote to purchase annual service agreement for the dispatch console for the Fairhope Police Department for Motorola as a sole source distributor and authorizes procurement based on the option allowed by the Code of Alabama. Contractual services and purchase of projects related to or having an impact upon security plans, procedures, assessments, measures, or systems, all the security or safety of persons, structures, facilities, or infrastructures. The co cost will be 26000 $659.44. It's just an annual renewal budgeted uh, every year. I'll entertain a motion for this purchase. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the purchase, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. All right, motion carries. Thank you, Council. 
Item 15 is a resolution the City of Fairhope vote to procure the annual services to field test 80 rotary gas meters for the gas department in the amount of $12,800 from Mid-South Meter and Regulator. I'll entertain a motion uh, to purchase the field test. So move. Second. We have a motion and a second. This is budgeted and this does come in under budget council. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of the resolution, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 16 is a resolution in the City of Faro vote to purchase one E1 custom rescue pump or fire truck for fire station number one. The vehicle is available for direct procurement through the Houston Galveston Area Council contract FS 12 19, which has been nationally bid. Therefore, it does not have to be let out for bid with a total cost of $517,157. This is a joint purchase between the City of Faro and the Faro Volunteer Fire Department with a 60 40 split. The city is paying up to 331,000 from impact fees and the Fair Volunteer Fire Department is paying up to $200,000. So uh, they have, uh, we've been able to stave off two price increases and we can't hold off on this purchase any longer. So we would ask for uh, everyone's support in going ahead and making this uh, uh, purchase possible and thank the generosity of the Fair Volunteer Fire Department to pitch in uh, $200,000 to benefit the citizens of Fair Hope. I'll entertain a motion for the, so moved. Purchase? Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? When is the uh, fundraiser supposed to be? Is that April or May? I was thinking it's supposed to be in March. March. It was supposed yeah, to be in March. It's coming gone. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll get right back to that in a minute. Okay. We uh, Any no more questions? All those in favor of the purchase, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Say nay. Okay. I know that. Uh, Councilman Brown had mentioned, uh, you know, possibly doing something to kickstart the city once uh, we get past this pandemic. And uh, Robert, I don't want to steal your thunder. You brought it up, and I thought it was a great idea. It's something I've been thinking of, and maybe we can have the Fairhope Volunteer Fire Department uh, cook off, and you know, maybe the city can splurge for a, a grand party and have something, a grand uh, reopening of the city. And I think that uh, we ought to all get behind that idea. Maybe at the next council meeting, uh, if we have any more clarity, <coughs> when things may open up you know, put together a little budget and make it happen. What do y'all think? Absolutely. That's what I meant to say in my council comments. I knew I forgot mm -hmm. something tonight. All right. I actually talked to uh, Sherry Sullivan today and she said she'd already reached out to some local artists uh, that would be looking forward to opportunities where they could set up at a couple of places around town to kind of scatter people and get them. I'd, 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 I'd be inclined to, to close all the streets if that's what it took or leave it open, whatever their advice is for, for something such as this. Have a you know, have a have a have a have a band somewhere in the street, and uh, you know, just Friday, have a have a celebration. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, all right, we'll try to work on that. Item number 17 is a resolution: City of Fairhope vote to procure one train split system air conditioning unit for the Haven. The equipment is available for direct procurement through the co-op contract through U.S. Community Communities. We, and it's already been nationally bid, therefore does not have to be let for bid. The total unbudgeted cost is $8,375, and Mr. Johnson uh, mentioned this. It is an unbudgeted item, but, you know, it is a need. These things happen, and uh, that's why we try to budget uh, sparingly for times such as these. So uh, I'm going to ask you uh, to approve this purchase. Can I entertain a motion? So moved. We have a motion and a second to purchase the train system. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. All right, motion carries. Thank you, Council. Now, item number 18 is a resolution of Mayor Karen Wilson is hereby authorized to execute an agreement between the City of Fair Oak and the State of Alabama acting by and through the Alabama Department of Transportation for additional turn lanes on County Road 44, also known as Twin Beach Road, and upgrading of the traffic signals on County Road 44 at State Road 42, which is also known as US 98 in the City of Fair Oak, Alabama. This is Project A Trip 2-02-2020-204, and you can read the reference numbers there. Uh, the right-of-way acquisition and construction agreement with our cost estimate, the local match being $198,957. Uh, this is something that's been talked about for quite some time, and so I'll ask for your support in approving this resolution. I'll take a motion. So moved. Second. Okay. okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Uh -huh. aye. Aye. Opposed, please say nay. 
Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item number 19 is a resolution the City Council hereby approves the creation of a tree crew for the City of Fairhope's electric department that will consist of a crew lead position at a grade 20 and two equipment operator three positions, which is a grade 18. These job positions already exist in our compensation and job classification plan, but this would approve the budget be amended to move the tree trimming expense to the appropriate expense codes for the following items, personnel, the knuckle boom truck converted from public works to the electric department and PP&E and tools. I retain a motion. This was discussed at the last work session. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussions? Mr. Allison may be out there. I just, I just want to add that, um, you know, this is maybe not seeming like the most appropriate time to be adding staff, but this is something that would have to be done anyways, and it was determined by Mr. Allison that the cost to outsource this would actually be greater than the cost of having our own uh, team in-house, so it just seemed to make sense to... I believe the quote was it was uh, about 25% of the bid and may even go down next year once we uh, start, you know, have equipment that's paid for that we can, we can uh, reutilize. Okay. We have a motion and a second, Clerk? Yes, you do. Okay. I'll uh, ask for a vote of A for those in favor or yay. 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 Messed y'all up, didn't I? Okay, all opposed say nay. <laughs> my, I got myself confused. I couldn't remember where we were at on that. Okay, all, motion carries. Thank you, Council. All right, item 20, which was added to the agenda, if you'll see that, that is the uh, changing of the pay grades for the electric department to be approved in the compensation and job classification plan as recommended by says as recommended by the personnel board. I'm going to strike that from the resolution. That was not recommended by the personnel board. They have not True. met. We should say as recommended by the um, director of operations, Michael Allison, and also uh, recommended by Councilman uh, Jay Robinson. So the current pay grade for uh, apprentice would be grade 20. Proposed grade pay grade would be 22. The lineman, which is currently a grade of 23, is proposed to be grade. 25. So, I uh, discussed in the agenda meeting, I will entertain a motion to change these pay grades. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to amend the pay grades for those two positions. Any further discussion? Okay, appreciate you work on that. No problem. Okay. Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, motion carries. All right, I have a letter to read from the attorney, city attorney. It says, as City Attorney Marcus McDowell, I hereby request this Fair Up City Council go into executive session based on the Code of Alabama to discuss consideration the city is willing to offer except when considering the purchase, sale, exchange, lease, or market value of real property. Discussions could have a detrimental effect upon the competitive position of the city and the negotiations if the matter was discussed in public. City Attorney McDowell does hereby declare the City Council of the City of Fair Up Rise from regular City Council meeting on Monday, April the 13th, 2020. To go into executive session, the City Council shall be in executive session for approximately 15 minutes. At the end of the executive session, the City Council shall return to the City Council Chambers to resume the regular City Council meeting. The time is 527, and the City Council will exit the dais to go into executive session. Can I entertain a motion to go into executive session? I'm sorry, uh, 627, thank you. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, uh, we should not take, we'll come back only to adjourn. Thank you. Leading back to order, there being no further business uh, to come before the council, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you, council.